Hello, 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 and welcome to this final boss fight live stream of In the Clutches of the Cult. My name is John, and I am the GM, and I am joined by Tanny. <laughs> Kiri. Okay. Hello. Michael. I'm always here. And Sean. Hello. Oh, wait, wrong DD. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what ta happened to Tanny there. And we are here to play some D&D. &D. We're playing D&D. &D. And uh, when we last saw these brave adventurers, has Tanny started to break up for everybody else, or is it me? I haven't heard Bad Tanny. Bad internet. Oh. Bad oh. internet. Something yeah. about internet, I heard. Bad, bad, bad internet bad is internet. literally picking the time that we press the go live button to stop working. Thank you, internet. Oh. Oh. Someone's got too many tabs open, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's hogging all the internet? When last we saw... When last we saw... When I, last we saw... When last we saw these adventurers, or misfits, or whatever you want to call them... We don't have a team name. You don't have a team name. I mean, to be fair, the team t keeps cycling around, so maybe this new team will have a name. I... The you... Cluster. You've Sorry, made your way to Red Larch... Uh, you started to investigate the cults that had sprung up again uh, that seemed to be in some way responsible for the missing Briar. Uh, the head of the watch came to you and asked for you to go and investigate Feathergale Spire, a mysterious location in the south end of the Deserin Valley, where previously cult uh, members of an air cult had gathered, and it appeared that others were now attempting to uh, restart this cult in the same location. Uh, you travelled there and made a bargain with them to come in and see, speak to them about their particular worship, uh, you were taken up to the rooftop of Feathergale Spire to meet with the leader of this cult, uh, who took great pride in showing off a pair of uh, weirdly mutated uh, elementals wearing a metallic armour uh, that appeared to be a mixture of multiple uh, elementals in one being. Uh, she called them flux chargers. And as you started to interview her, she informed you that you would not be leaving the roof of the tower. And the flux chargers started to block your path back down the stairs. And both the cult leader and the cult guard that are on the roof, along with the elementals, uh, start moving to prepare to attack, and that is exactly where we're going to jump back in again. Roll initiative. So at this point, if everybody could just roll me some initiatives, that'd be great. I cannot tell you how long I've been looking forward to this, John. Oh, uh, well, that's, uh, that's some good rolls on my behalf. Oh. Okay, well, that will take the eight. Uh, do you mind fit me in? Apparently I didn't. Did anybody roll better than an 8, 9, or 10? <laughs> That's all I've managed. I rolled a 10. I haven't rolled yet. I rolled an 8. As soon as it gets me through the whole rolling thing. Uh, I rolled an 8. I rolled one. Eight. Oh, God. Oh. Milo. <laughs> Accurate. Beck. 
Uh, and then I also need to roll for Luna because Jennifer's not here. My, you know what? what? A four. There are there are several people in there that look to be in perfect cone of colding distance. <laughs> um. Also, yes, within cold coin, that, that's that's everyone this side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the other well, side. I could, I could move over here. No, this is this is Luna you're talking about. It's this side. She's going to oh show. right, yes, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> no, no, no. This she'll be going side. this way. She'll be going this way. It's the most amount of enemies. It's, it's just jump to the left. <laughs> And then a cone of coal to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands on your hips. I back. Hey. Welcome back. What the f is going on? We're joking about how. I'm rolling initiative and I got four. Uh, is that everybody on the turn tracker? My God, we all rolled garbage. <laughs> everybody rolled garbage. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to sit around and eat my eggplant. Uh, so Luna, I believe, is probably going to lead with a cone of cold. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, what does that one do? Have we seen that yet? Ooh. Ah! We're not going to lead with a cone of cold. Oh. We're going to have an investiture of ice. Oh. <coughs> what? Frost freezes over Luna's body. <laughs> and, uh... The ground in a ten foot radius out from her is frozen over in ice. So cool. Uh, becoming a difficult terrain for, uh, at the moment, Milo, Steel, uh, and Sage, and Borrowed are all stood in ice. And she extends her hands out towards the cult leader and uh, the flux charger. And just a howling <laughs> blast of icy freezing wind explodes from her hands. Um, and they both must make constitution saving throws. Which they... Uh, the flux charger passes. But the cult leader does not... And so the cult leader takes 20 points of damage and the flux charger takes 10. Uh, borrowed. Ah, hello. 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 I'm going to do something very fun. I'm going to plant the uh, spear in the ground, now the icy, very icy ground. I'm going to make sure that I have both the flux charges in a direct, in like sort of either side of me. And I'm going to flip each of them off and cast a banishment. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what's the spell save DC on that? 17. 17. Uh, so that's a 4 and a 15. Both fail. Fop. Fop. Uh, they both wink I'm out of existence. I'm going to use my bonus action to put a Hexblade's Curse on the leader. Okay. Uh, and that is it. All I'm doing. Uh, Steel. Hello. Hello. Wouldn't you know, my turn came up very quickly after most most of the combatants disappeared. It's incredible <laughs> how that happened. <laughs> Battlefield control, very very fun. So, um, hmm. hmm. Well, wouldn't you know, the two casters who are very squishy have people right next to them. <laughs> yeah, they do. What do you mean? Not you. You're not the, the, the two the two squishy ones. Oh right, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so how far out does this this uh, freezy freezy freezy? Uh, ten feet from Luna. So 
Uh, let me actually, because I can show you, do uh, this far. Okay, so, Ooh. and that's all difficult really terrain. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yep. Just kind of charges around the back of this guy, and he is, I am going to attempt to smack him. Um, Smack it real good. Da, da, <laughs> da, 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 da. I got, I got something I could, I could, I got something I could put on it, but I really don't think there's any point because uh, it's unlikely this guy's going to turn invisible anytime soon. Okay. But it does do a little bit of extra damage if I hit him. I'll see. You might as well just pepper some in. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm going to. Okay, this it's, it's already rolled the damage, but it's, it's if I hit. Um, so I'm going to attempt to smack him with my mace. 14? Uh, it does not hit. How about 28? That one does hit. <laughs> so 7 plus 5, so... Uh, 12. So I want it to... I go to swing it with my mace, and a little spider just crawls up my arm. It stands on the end of the mace, and just as it hits, just bursts with radiant light. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, the leader of the cult will draw out a great sword and a uh, no, just a great sword. <laughs> just a great sword. Just a Pocket great in. sword. <laughs> uh, and will stab out at Luna three times. Uh, and hit Luna two times. I was going to say, hopefully two. Uh, so that is a 16 and an 18. Uh, Luna says, ouch. <laughs> oh, uh, and then the howling hatred champion that is stood between uh, Steel and Milo will also swing at steel with a great sword. That's a 26 and a 13. No, yes and no. Uh, that is 16 points of slashy slash damage. 16. And then once at Milo, uh, that is a 16 to hit Milo. I'm gathering by that it means it didn't hit. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, 17 to Ow. the damage. Tiny, do you have shield? I do. Did I not cast it uh, last time? It's a reaction. It's a reaction thing. Uh, I have shield. Should I, I spell uh, You've yeah. been hit. The damage has been done. React. Give yourself it's something. They see that do it. <laughs> it's, it's... Uh, is it too late? You just swing the sword round and just a <laughs> of uh, magical force blocks the attack just in time. Uh, Milo. Uh, actually, hang on. Where's me? I'll, I'll Where is you? What yeah, did you roll? Eight. Yeah, I got eight. <clears throat> oh, I almost completely forgot this guy was with us. Uh, Sage. I'm on that forgettable. Uh, so I'm just gonna come over here and take out this. Just get out my blade. Just... You go to stab, but uh, Indra just blocks it with your with with her uh, great sword quite handily. Yeah. Shame. Uh, I believe you can possibly attack again. Yep. Hang on. Uh, that's the damage. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. 13? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, she unfortunately just brings the sword up twice and easily blocks both of your attacks. Oh, okay. Right, fuck her! <laughs> so, uh, that, I, got a natural, I got a natural one and a, and a three. Great. <laughs> uh, Milo. Hmm. I'm 
gonna draw this out. Okay. It's a spell so long I can't see the title. Flesh to Flesh stone. To stone. Ooh. They need to roll uh, a uh, they rolled a six. Is your spell save DC higher than a six? 16. They fail. If if Milo if, if Tanny had said no at that point, I would have been worried. No, it's my spell save is sixteen. Words. 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 Uh, Words. 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 So having just bounced their sword off of the invisible force protecting Milo, you see panic cover their eyes as their legs just start to... He just, like, pokes the leg. <laughs> like... uh, Luna is going to thrust her hand out again at Indra. Uh, and Indra is going to make a constitution saving throw. And does make it. Uh, so only takes four points of damage. Well, hey. uh, borrowed. I'm going to move myself over to here. And I'm going to attack twice. Okay the spear but it'll just look like a long sword <laughs> <laughs> that is roll 20 being laggy or did I did I put something in chat uh, no it's being laggy oh, oh, oh there we go, go. Oh, there oh I is. just realized something I cast blade ward when we first started um, but yes so basically one of them Someone would have a non if, a, if they have a non magical weapon, they get oh no, wait, you have resistance against budgeting, piercing, or slashing damage dealt by weapon attacks. It's good uh, that you didn't get hit then. So basically, I, I wouldn't even got hit, wouldn't even get hit anyway. You'd take less damage from it. I'd take less damage. I forgot my... all about that. Where's my camera gone? There it is. Uh, the 27 will hit. So she just brings her sword round and blocks the first attack. Uh, and that will be 12 points of damage. I don't know. Uh, steel. Damn, son. Um, so I'm a quick shifty through the things I can do. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really rub, so I think I'm just going to try and smack him some more with my mace. Uh, smack him some more with mace. Uh, so you have advantage. I, I do have advantage. That's a point. I didn't actually roll with advantage last time, did I? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Now you have advantage now for two reasons. One of them is his legs are turning to stone. And the other because flanking. Because there's a tiny flanker. Tiny, tiny flanker. That's exactly his feelings on the matter at the moment, yes. There's a tiny flanker behind him. A three foot flanker, that's about. He's stabbing it. Apparently 22. 2222, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. that'll hit. There's 2,222 hit. And 23. I'm going to uh, that hit. That'll also hit, yes. So, smacky poo. And smacky poo. Uh, so that is that many. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hold the phone. Holding. I'm holding, holding. my phone. Oh, yeah. Hold. 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 I'm holding. Ah, shit. Apparently Tanny is no longer holding. <laughs> no, I just dropped my plug. That was pulling off the desk. From my fan. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna do that. Uh, so, boop. He's gonna take another 2d6 force damage. Oh. Has the bitch been smacked? Has the bitch has been smacked? 
2d6. <clears throat> so another 11 force damage. Just a slight jolt from one of your mace hits. The awful thing just missed. And Arcane Joke is knocked down. And I'm done. Uh, the leader will just yell down the stairs, We could use some help up here! Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then against uh, Sage, does a 12 hit? Sage. Michael. Um, sorry. Miguel. Sorry, I was picking well. up my phone still. A 12 does not hit. Uh, <laughs> Luna gets a 25. So takes 18 more points of damage. I'm still used to, I'm still, I'm still used to Yaggle. Uh, one minute, 18. You gotta be a dick now. Can't be the lovable dwarf as you were before. And then against uh, Borrowed does a 16 hit. Uh, that is my armor class. You take 25 points of cold damage. Good for me. Ow. Uh, that is 13 points of damage to you. 25. Yep. Ouchies. Oh, I was going to say, like, though, I forgot about the ammo. <laughs> yep. Just a. I wrote it down just before stuff happened. Uh, 13 points of damage, did you say? Uh, yes. Uh, so then this guy is going to swing with disadvantage at. Oh, I don't want to use the short bow. Oh, uh, I've got to make a constitution. <laughs> See if I keep banishment up. Oh, oh you, yeah. Yes. Do good. I do. It's yes. Fine. <laughs> uh, steel does a. Does a. Um. Eighteen hit you. No. How about a twelve? <laughs> Milo. Does yeah. a 13 hit? Does the shield count still? Or... Uh, I mean, does a 13 hit you? It does. It's my armor class. Uh, no, unfortunately, shield is until the start of your next turn. Motherfuck. Um, I attack damage. Uh, but you do have... Do you have blade ward up still? I still blade ward have... is only for a round as well. Ah. Blasted. Uh, so that is... Uh, oh dear. Uh, 24 points of damage. Ow. That hurts. Luckily, it wasn't the other roll, which was a critical. Which is why it rolled so much. Da -da -da. Uh, Sage. <sighs> you took, you, I attempt to kill you instantly. Just so that you can end your life. But you made you've given me no more choice. But I'm just gonna have to just kill you now. And I'm sorry, but this has to be done. We can't keep you alive. Oh hang on a minute. Uh I need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, do you now? Yeah. Yeah, for um, this. Oh, okay. They uh, make it. Still they don't. Uh, my, they're not at disadvantage. So it would be the 21. Sage moves back about there. Now, let me, show you, let me show you what I can do. He just holds his hand out, and this purple aura starts coming out of his hand, and then crystallizes into beautiful purple crystals that are very shiny. And then does this. <laughs> uh, that'll hit. Hey, Excellent. Warlock's slot is filled. <laughs> hey, fuck off, Warlock! Right here, Warlock, screw you! <laughs> oh. Well, I'm going to assume... I'm going to imagine the other Warlock. I'm not sure. I've just done... Three. Yes, you did. 1d10, at, great. At, at this... You would be rolling... Uh, two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now there's level. It's, it's lagging. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> so you just fling two purple crystals <laughs> at the uh, cult leader. If my swords aren't going to work, then I'll use magic. Your magic is as feeble as your swords. <sighs> Borrow just in the background goes, Ooh! <laughs> uh, Milo. That's what he's going to do. Okay. Does his... Is okay, his... Luna, next turn. <laughs> <laughs> is, um, is um, the guy's back facing him? Uh, kind of he's frozen about halfway between the two of you. I'm going to try and do something. I don't have it, but I wonder if I have some... No, that's not going to work. I'm going to try and cast... Deep. No. Can I, can I try? Oh, oh, boink. A level. We'll just cast at a level. See how many levels I got. Left. We'll just cast at this. Oh, hello. Um, you do know that goes in a straight line. A no, hundred feet. I didn't know. Like, no. Can I just do it on this guy? No. Well, you can do it on that guy, yeah. Yeah. I'll go that way. <laughs> uh, that is a nine. You failed, motherfucker. Uh, so I'm going to just try this. What the fuck? Uh, so 15. Still fails. Still fails. Damn it. Uh, that is 38 points of lightning damage. And I will then... Let's see what else I can do before. No, nope, I can't do shit. Next turn! Uh, Luna is going to thrust her hands forward again. Uh, smack a bitch. <gasps> uh, you're going to try this again. There we go. Asshole. At least oh. they're no longer indomitable. Yep. Uh, we'll take five points of damage. And then we will say borrowed. Ah, cool. Alright. What am I doing? Ooh. Well, since we're, we're all using such great Elemental spells, and I'm feeling a little left out. Um, I'm going to use Green Flame Blade. Ooh, fancy. Okay. No, I don't think I don't think that hits though. Uh, I believe that is damage rolling. Oh, yeah. that's damage rolling. Haha. -ha. Uh, so roll to hit. You have to roll a weapon yes. attack to so see if that happens. Right. Yes. Uh, green. There it is. Uh, that that does hit. Cool. Um, so roll the damage. Uh, so that is uh, twenty uh, points of damage. Twenty points of damage. Um, and it doesn't jump to anyone because there's no one hostile. No, I mean you can you can leap it to Luna, but I mean I'm not going to do that. That's for the best. I think I think she'd be angry enough with me. Uh, Steel. Hello. Hi. Uh, um, I mean, I could do that because it's only five feet. But no, I think I think it's probably. I think I'm going to do another branding smite. Uh, okay. On this. Uh, so I'll, I'll click branding smite after I've uh, rolled a weapon attack. So. Um, da, 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 whee! <laughs> uh, no. Alright. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see if this one just outright kills him first, shall we? Uh, so it's. <laughs> Oh. Uh, eight plus uh, 
Branding Smite, where the fuck are you? Which... So... Uh, so... Uh, 14. Cool. It's now, now my next attack. Uh... At 26. Yeah! Oh! Hello! So, Hello! That is 11 damaged. We have more friends, guys. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah, hello. Hey, Hello. I thought we'd be at my grandmother's longer, so. <laughs> Welcome. You're, you're actually winning. Yeah, you're, you're smacking a bit, right? I mean, you've, you've taken a fair amount of damage, but. I was going to say. <laughs> but still. You've done, you done investiture of ice. Oh, cool. Uh. Okay, so this person is going to attack. Uh, it's taking a while to load, so... Like, I'm here, but I don't know why Roll20 is taking so long to load. Oh, Everyone's crazy. basically on the internet because they're quarantined. Oh, yeah, no, I know that. My internet's been running fine. It's just... Ro oh, there we go. Finally. Uh, borrowed a 17 and a 12. Uh, the first one will hit, in which they will take 25 points more damage, and the 12th will miss. Uh, so you take 7 points of damage, and Indra just freezes. Ha 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 ha! I also have to make a Does that mean we killed the bad guy? You killed, you killed the bad guy. One. Uh, the I bad take 7 guy. points Good of damage. Job. Yes. Thank you. That was cool. an excellent shot borrowed. Lunar is incredibly pleased. Thank you. Uh, Constitution saving throw. Yeah, fine. Cool. It's all good. Uh, so with disadvantage, stop opening the short bow. Uh, steel, does a 16 or a 17 hit you? Nope. Milo, how are you feeling about an 11? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, well, either way, it fails the saving throw. How's he looking? Uh, the stone just... <laughs> starts to creep up his, uh, stomach. Ace. Huh? 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 Uh, Sage. Let's, um... Okay. Okay. Well, she's dead, so I can't take my revenge on her. So I'm just gonna waddle over here, and uh, you know what? Uh, what's she gonna do? Uh, there we go. We'll do that as a bonus action on that guy. So was a heck spider. And uh, oh. the, these crystals just form on him as well as the stone. Uh, he's probably confused. And then I'm gonna go Eldritch Blast again. Oh my days, are Ooh. you serious? <laughs> yes. I am yes. not doing well with this. Uh, Milo. Oh. Yeah. What about the other one? Alright, um... Let me... No, we've killed the other one. Oh yeah, no. Uh, roll, roll your other Eldritch Blast, sir. Michael. Michael. Um, Michael. Well, another, another one. Yeah, you yeah, you roll two blasts. two blasts a turn. There you go. Total or opposites. <laughs> Apparently, you're just flipping a coin. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm talking. Sage just walks over, flings a purple crystal off into the sky, and then blasts one straight into the heart of the guy. Force damage. You can see he's winded. Winded. Great. Uh, Milo. Mm -hmm. What can I use to smack him with? Uh, can I firebolt him? Would it be bad if I firebolt him? I mean, he won't like it. Cool. 20! Uh, That'll hit. 14. 
Uh, Luna. How's he, how's he looking? You got winded. He's a little bit. he's not not overly happy right now. Too bad. That's too bad. He's getting better. <laughs> Luna, you're currently just rimmed in ice with frost spreading out from your feet. Uh, you are able to, once per turn, just push your hands forward and cause a freezing blast of air to come out. Alright. Um, let's see, am I able to move or am I yeah. stuck where I am? No, you can move. I can't... Okay. Then I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to... I'm assuming we're attacking the guy who has the spider web. Yes, he's on. slowly turning to stone. Oh my, that sucks. Well, why don't I be bur Why don't I be merciful and kill you quickly? As soon as the... There it is. Uh, oh shit, what level spell can I cast? Level 6, okay. Uh, you've Let's spent your level 6 spell slot. Oh, okay. Do I have any level fives left? Yes. Okay. Really, really. Uh, so that is twenty-one oh, points of That's damage. Great. Uh, borrowed. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna look at Michael's new character, which I forgot the name of, and I'm so Sage. Sorry. Sage. 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 Yes. Borrow's gonna narrow his eyes. He's gonna hold up. He's gonna hold up his hand. He's gonna fire two Eldritch Blasts at the guy. <laughs> 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 this position has been filled. Hmm. No need to get jealous. Uh, the 28 will hit. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, steel. There we go. Sorry, it's my, my roll 20 was taking five decades to actually update itself. Uh, so, uh, so this guy's still alive. <laughs> yes. Yep. He's a big boy. Finish him off, steel. What spell slots have I got there? I've got, I've got third levels left. I'm going to fucking... <clears throat> I'm going to do another uh, branding smite on this motherfucker. Which I shall roll now. Any damage I might get. Eight. Um, but I shall be smacking him with my mace. Twice. Okay. Um, With advantage. And I, even, and I might even do an arcane jolt on one of them. 26. 19. Uh, both hit. So, boop, boop, and slash roll 2d6 for an arcane jolt of another 9. He so, had 13 hit points left. Uh, so he kind of turns into a thin paste from the body, from the uh, stomach up, and a pair of stone legs um, in a sort of very weird onward-esque tribute. Uh, there's just a pair of legs left behind. Um, uh, uh, you can hear footsteps coming up the stairs. No, boy. At the end of my turn, I shall be moving to the stairs to meet them. Uh, Sage. Michael. Yes, yes. yes. I was wanting to ask him. Five in. Say, say it again. Uh, you can hear footsteps coming from a floor or so below you. Okay then, um, I shall move myself here, and I, I, I shall already miss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Milo. 
Hey, you. Sit there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this. I don't know what to do. You know, I'm just gonna stay out of it. I'm just gonna stand next to Luna and Bard. And my dog is um, streaming, so just give me a second. Hello! Hello! Um, I'm also done, by the way, so. Well, apparently, these guys wanted to roll 18s. Apparently. Oh, here we go. Don't like that. Don't like that. There are more things coming. Oh, yeah, I guess there are. They called uh, uh, the leader woman called down the stairs before she died. Ah, uh, not that. Has anybody got anything big we can just throw down the stairs real quick before I they get here? I think I only have spell work. I just, I just, I just look at steel. <laughs> he's, he's quite big, actually. You can throw him down the stairs. Why would you do that? Have you I would ever love play... to try. Have you ever, have you ever oh. played sledding down the stairs? Because <laughs> what you do is you roll up into a ball and you tumble down the stairs and you destroy everyone on the way down. It's a type of bowling and it's quite well, effective. That's kind, of, that's kind of very rude you saying that. That's, it's a person, you know. A man in a loose-fitting set of robes gets to the top of the stairs waves his hands and casts something <laughs> thunder wave uh can i get a saving throw from steel and sage constitution saving throw even, yeah, yeah, yeah. even without advantage that was an <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh steel you take half the damage Uh, Sage, you take uh, that much. Uh, 15 points of damage and a knockback 10 feet. 15, okay, so over there. I almost I almost land on Looney. I'll just... I will eventually get to the point where she do the minus seven. So, Steel just plants his feet harder and just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> and then wind just sort of <sighs> whirls around the man and he lifts up into the air and sails over the top of the banister to land gracefully. Are you sure the hurricane winds aren't too strong and he just gets flung off the top of the tower? <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Overshot it. 5, 10, 15... <laughs> Um, how many can he make? Four. Okay. Seventeen, sixteen, ten, and eighteen, Sean. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just... It's like, it's like full-on kung fu movies. Like, boom. <laughs> and you just kind of... Ow! Ow! Uh, Luna. Yes. Oh my. Is... is... The one at my feet. Are you okay? Because I seem to have forgotten your name since the last session. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Just got surprised that it's all... Okay. Because <laughs> Lunar, Lunar would legit be, like, kind of worried. Like, are you alright? But I legit can't remember your character's name. I just, I just, I just, I just dusted myself off. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, yeah. Ice Lady. He's all yours. He's all yours, Ice Lady. Nice. Actually, in, in my notes, I've got Crazy Ice Lady. <laughs> yeah, Ice Lady. Ice Lady. Hey, Ice Lady. His name is Jerk. Oh, excuse me. Your name's Jerk. It's Remember? Sage. I think you hit your head pretty hard, though. I don't. Your name's not Sage. It's Jerk. No, we've got two enemies there already. Let's not make. Yes, let's not get an extra. Well, Sage, I'm just going to have to step up you very carefully real quick. Okay. Um, no, I think you should like, actually walk all over. 
and probably destroy him there. I could just see Milo giving me a squinty evil look. Like, yeah, he would. He is. The cone of cold should hit both of these guys. Yes. And if I angle it right, I can hit both of them and not hit steel. Uh, one of them makes the saving throw. Very well. One of them just fucking throw it out the way, apparently. <laughs> it's a, it's a real shame I didn't get them high enough level of monks to be able to just avoid that. Yet high enough level for them to get that uh, four attacks per turn. Yeah. Milo says seven to you borrowed. I, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing right here. Uh, borrowed. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, how many rounds has it been since I banished the two of them? It um, been not like, that long. No. Been about four or five turns. Five turns, great. In another five turns, they'll be fully banished. Yeah. Don't get hit. <laughs> it's, it's not that I can't get hit. It's more the fact that I can't cast any of my more interesting spells because everything <laughs> else is concentration. Hold on a minute. Uh, I just need to pretty make sure of how far away you are from me. Yeah. Well, you know, don't get, don't get fouled. You know, stay within thirty feet of me. Just, just engage. <laughs> yeah, I, I can do that. I can do that. Um... Oh, oh, I know, I know why you want me to stay within. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know exactly why. I know. Exactly, I know uh, just, uh, just in case. Just in case. Just, just, just in case. Just roll, in case. If you just roll a little bit too low, you know. Just... Yeah. <laughs> uh... I, I don't know what you're talking about. I know things that artificers can do. <laughs> uh, both hit. Cool. Um... He, just... <laughs> he was not looking very healthy after failing the uh, saving throw for a cone of cold. No, so it's, it's it's just stabbing him in the leg and then just taking out and smacking him across the face with the butt of the spear. I guess just stabbing just like... the neck in the process. <laughs> uh, steel. Hello. Um, I don't wanna... Is that... Bonus or is that? No, that's an action. I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm just quickly having a look at everything I can do again. Uh, I think all I can really do is just kind of fend off all of his unarmed attacks and then just try to batter him with a mace. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, battering with a mace seems to be going well for you so far. I probably will try and do a branding smite on one of these. 16? Uh, that'll hit. And 25? Also hits. A branding smite, you say? Smacky yeah. poo, smacky poo. Just make sure. <laughs> yep. And then a branding smite, which I shall do... How many levels of... Uh, I've, got, I've got enough third level spells, I can do that. Another nine. nine. And then I'll throw an arcane jolt on because fuck this guy and all he stands for. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, well, the guy's probably dead now. So, uh, ten. What he stands for is falling backwards down the stairs. Yeah, li that's what I was just going <laughs> to say. But literally, the last little bit is just going to be a little, a little spider on my foot, just as I boot him down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he had nine hit points left before you did the uh, arcane uh, jolt. Oh. <laughs> uh, there'll probably be more coming upstairs soon. Well, probably, I just send a delivery down. There is a very loud... <laughs> As there's a... I told you about the stairs, bro. I there's warned a... you about the stairs. There's a spiral staircase that goes all the way down the middle of the castle, uh, or all made of the middle down the tower that you've just kicked someone down, so he's... I want to imagine that every time he gets any sort of land, it's, like it's like that bit in the crowd. 
that was being in the crowd where they changed the number for 999 and it's like <laughs> she gets to the landing and then throws herself down the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to do now? Oh, we had a combat. Well, kind of, well, you still got to deal with the banishment guy, right? Well, I mean, I just, just need to, just need to hold concentration. Yeah, well, someone, yeah. someone hold, still, you hold him, just carry him whilst he concentrates whilst he goes down I mean, I can move. <laughs> no, I can defend no, you're, you're, you're a fatally wounded situation. I, I am been going hit. downstairs. No, 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 any damage. Down, down, down. <laughs> You don't realize there are like a thousand enemies down there, right? He's got. Well, I, I could always cast tidal wave and just wash them all out. Oh, that's, oh, that's fair. You have a good point. That's a good point. Oh, and then one can of I we... do that, John? <laughs> I mean, if if you want to, at the moment Milo's down the stairs. Um, can Milo. I send Flare down there, uh, just sort of with Milo? Yeah. Uh, one moment. Uh. Um. Because a very fun thing that I learned, Flare is technically a medium creature, which means Milo can ride Flare. Oh. If you need a quick flare. I just ruffle, like, Flare's um, heavy face. Snuggles. Milo, dear. She can't, he can't hear you. How far down is he? Would you stop running off? Yeah, he's uh, down the bottom, probably halfway. Okay. He's only got little nicks. Uh, let's go well, check in this room. Anything in this room. Okay. Uh, Laura's gonna race after him. At this point, he's a little worried. Looks like Tidal Wave won't be a good strategy now. I see something Not there. Not now, apparently. Uh, that is... Uh, in this kitchen, sacks are heaped along the walls, and a small pile of vegetables is spread on the table. A huge steaming cauldron stands at the centre of the room. Two wooden panels, paddles and two knives hang on the rack near the brick oven. Four wall shelves hold a dozen loaves of bread. And there are just two uh, people in the same sort of armour. Uh, just a kitchen. Yes. Uh, wafting, wafting smoke off of the cool or steam off of the cauldron. Have they noticed him? They haven't noticed you yet. Mm, and there's so the, something that's like to go running in. Uh, well, he kind of like peacefully opened the door anyway, so. Yes, <laughs> Milo in this giant bird. <laughs> yes, bird. Uh, do you mind moving me down the stairs, please? Yep. There you go. That's one floor down. Okay, I'll take her again down the stairs now. Uh, after, you, after you, metal man. Goes down, checking corners and being on the lookout for anything. Uh, okay. Borrowed is going to go into this room. What's he see? Uh, that, you see a small chamber that contains two beds, a fireplace, a closet, two chests, and a small tapestry on the wall. Hmm. Where are the chests? Uh, at the bottom of the beds, or sort of next to the head of the beds. Oh, whoops, sorry, my bad. Uh, cool. I'm gonna go over to this one, because Farrah doesn't know what's happening, and if anyone comes near him, he will smack the shit out of them. But also, looking through people's stuff. Unlocked. Uh, it is. Ooh, what's in there? Uh, you find eleven gold pieces Ooh. and a feathered okay. cloak. A feathered cloak. Oh, that's very nice. I'll that take sounds. It. You found I'll take it. It sounds snuggled. Uh. So these guys haven't noticed me yet. Are they armed, or do they just have no? Like, they. Lately? They, they have sort of... It's the same sort of uh, markings and a similar design to the other cultists, but they don't seem to have, like, the full battle armour. Would you bet if I try making an intim intimidation check to, like, get out on the crowd? <laughs> get out of the crowd! I have this 
I saw around the bell. I'm taking on this castle. <laughs> can, can just, I think you and a giant bird would do it, honestly. You are welcome uh, to try. I'm going to bolt in with my staff, and I've got a fire bolt in my hand. <laughs> roll. <And I> say, <laughs> roll me an intimidation roll. Flare is, like, like, behind wings sort of spread out like doing that really like aggressive vulture walk oh no <laughs> so i'm assuming it's kind of get, get down on the ground <laughs> get down on the ground i have a spell with a fire in my hand on an <laughs> they just look at you and go aww what a lovely chicken fuck you <laughs> oh, oh, what small what job did you kill it yeah aww <laughs> oh. He's lost. Get down the ground, I got the space around this! <laughs> <laughs> Don't want home, you! <laughs> they both turn and look at you. And then just kind of go back to wafting the steam. <laughs> From the cauldron. He was actually more afraid of the fact that they were actually going to go after him, but they just seemed like they're doing nothing, so... He's he's just going to go back out and oh. just see that Luna says, so, well, I tried. Keep doing that. They're, not, they're harmless. Um, John? Yep. What's in the other chest? In this one you find... 47 gold pieces and another feathered cloak. I'm just, well, I'm not greedy, I'm just... so I won't take... I'll take the 47, but I won't take the... Um... You can you can sew them together and make a bigger cloak. Um, and then I'm going to... And then I'm going to go down a floor, because I'm thinking that this is like... I didn't see anything. Besides, like, the gold. And the gold is nice, but... Eh. Um, Bora, did... Uh, sorry, um... Green man, uh, did you hear your friends just shout? Yes, Spice. Yeah. <laughs> I heard your friends just shout downstairs. What am I looking? That's what I'm going to. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Borrowed will like stop for a second, look through Flair's eyes, realize what's going on, and says, "Don't worry about it," and then head downstairs. Milo. This bright room occupies the east quarter of this floor. Wind whistles through cracks in the windows of this room. Plants of all colours grow wildly and appear to have mostly been left to their own devices. In the middle of the room, a very neat array of planters hold the most recent attempts at gardening. Aww. Um. But... He's just gonna wander around in here for a little bit and just look at the plants. <laughs> Would you like to explore this fall, Borrowed? Yes, yes, I would. It wasn't here. Uh, this great hall spans half the diameter of the tower. Between the overly large windows, tapestries that depict the scenes of gallant knights on flying hippogriffs, fighting dragons and jousting with one another above the clouds. High on the walls are the mounted heads of griffins, wyverns, owlbears and manticores. A long curved table set for a feast stretches between the t hall's twin hearths. Well, I think that's a little cruel for what they did to the to the animals, but so there's there's food on the table. Yes, it it looks like a meal was interrupted here recently. Ha 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 ha! I wonder why. Yeah, it, looks um, still, it looks warm still. Uh, he just walks up and shoves hand on it. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go exploring. What's in this room? Uh, that is another chamber with uh, two beds, uh, a chest or two chests, a fireplace, a closet, and a tapestry. Hmm. What's in the closet? Uh, a cloak and 30 gold pieces. Another feathered cloak? Yep. Take 30 gold. 
Look at you getting all the cloaks and gold. I'm not taking. I'm only. I've only taken one. Um, Sage just comes over. And goes. You know that is steam. <laughs> they technically. We did just kind of murder them all, so I don't think it counts as steam. 